we have different angles to it. If you had a business series yesterday, you were taught so many things. But we need people, we have people who really make sure that they run the day-to-day -day affairs of football class players. And we call them administrators. There will be one person who rose to become the GFA chairperson of blessed memory. He became the chief of the Lipo Ura, M H D Jawula. We go for that short video documentary. Yes, short documentary on him and I'll be back. Was a football person through and through. An administrator rose to the highest office of chairman of Ghana Football Association between 1997 and the year 2000. Lepura MND Jaule's life and career as a civil servant and finance expert was completely overshadowed by his involvement with football as an administrator. The late Jaule's rise from the role of vice chairman of the Ghana Football Association between 1995 and 1997 to assuming the helm was testament of his unique managerial and leadership qualities. These qualities were evident during his tenure as chairman of Real Family United and later when he formed Guam United. He further rose as chairman of the FA Cup Committee for the resumption of the competition following a 10 year hiatus, character as his passion, commitment, and service to football. Ladies and gentlemen, a visionary leader of Ghana football who will be remembered for his stature influence, oratory skills, and camaraderie. The late Lepo Rock, MMD Jaoun. al Haji MMD Jaoun, later in life to become Lepo Rock, was a football person through and through. An administrator who rose to the highest office of chairman of Ghana Football Association between 1997 and the year 2000. Lepora MND Jaule's life and career as a civil servant and finance expert was completely overshadowed by his involvement with football as an administrator. The late Jaule's rise from the role of vice chairman of the Ghana Football Association between 1995 and 1997 to assuming the helm was testament of his unique managerial and leadership qualities. These qualities were evident during his tenure as chairman of Real Tamale United and later when he formed One United. He further rose as chairman of the FA Cup Committee for the resumption of the competition following a 10 year hiatus for character as his passion, commitment, and service to football. Ladies and gentlemen, a visionary leader of Ghana football who will be remembered for his stature, influence, Oratory skills and camaraderie. The late Lepo Rock, MND Jaoula. All right, put your hands together All for right, so let's, let's put our hands together for Dr. Phyllis. Join us. To join us, do the presentation to HND Jaoula. Do we have any family person from the M and O? DD's here. Put your hands together for Didi to receive this on behalf of the family. Thank you very much. Um, on behalf of uh, our father, our uncle, uh, we all know his contribution in the promotion and development of football and sports in general in the country. And uh, I think this is um, an inspiration to those of us who still have the opportunity to live, to continue to be modest, be passionate, and then stay humble in our small ways in trying to promote and develop sports in the country. Our uncle gave it all. He contributed 
towards the development of so many of us here guided. And if today he's acknowledged with this uh, um, plan, I think this is a big motivation and it should serve as uh, an inspiration to the rest of us here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you can show some love to our administrators. We'll be coming back to also mention some other few persons. But at this point, we go straight away to footballers who were in a time where MND Jawula was there. He captain Archie at a point. He played in the national team, the Black Star. He's a fine, he's a coach now. And the people are wondering who is that person? Let's go for this short documentary on Hamza Mohammed. An exemplar club career that spanned eight years at Real Time United. The longest before moves for Santino to him. King Faisal and Hard to Win wrapped up his Ghana Premier League experience. Described as a midfield record, Hamza Mohammed was admired for his style of play that won him many awards. Internationally, Hamza captained the Ghana under 20 male national football team, the Black Satellites, to the FIFA World Youth Championship in Nigeria back in 1999. His senior international career with the Black Stars took him to the Africa Cup of Nations in Mali 2002 and Egypt 2006. Hamza Mohamed was pivotal in Ghana and the Black Stars qualifying campaign to the 2006 World Cup in Germany. Perhaps one of the disappointments he had to deal with was the decision to exclude him from the final score of Ghana's historic FIFA World Cup appeal. Hamza spent three seasons abroad, returning to Kim Faisal in the Ghana Premier League. Hamza Mohamed's career is summed up as one of determination resilience and leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, Tamalis Gold Hamza Mohammed, a midfield gem from the Northern Region. That's quite a beautiful one there. We are telling our own stories. And so let's have Madam to join us in the presentation. Please join us on stage. Thank you so much. I'll put your hands together for her. She's looking is gorgeous. So the brother of Hamza Mohammed is here to So the brother is taking it on his behalf. Thank you to the organizers for this honor. We are very grateful 